been uh, thinking about a lot of things. Um, and everything, everything that I attempt, um, whether it be, you know, the knitting or, you know, drawing or my writing or even, or even just kind of trying to improve my appearance. I've come, to, you know, it, it, it's kind of, it strikes me that I never, I can never seem to, I can never seem to stick at anything. If there's something that I want to actually do, why I don't have the strong determination to keep at it and add it and add it until I get to my goal. And I really do, I'm, I'm really starting to think that perhaps it has a lot to do with the fact that I was never given much encouragement when I was a kid. I tried to do something creative. Um, I was never told that it was good or anything. Um, I'd, at one point, you know, just before leaving school, um, I had decided that I wanted to uh, go to college because I wanted to go into kind of like uh, sort of childcare, you know, being sort of like um, like an assistant at like a daycare or something like that. And I was promptly told, you don't have any patience for that. And effectively, you know, pretty much, pretty much told, don't bother because you can't do it. Maybe, maybe it was just because of the fact that, just because of the fact that I had perhaps a, a bit of a rocky start when I was a kid, you know, um, I was a little weird to begin with. Maybe that's the reason why, you know, I was never... I was never praised for anything. I, you know, I wasn't. I wasn't encouraged. If I if I did something good, I was. I was never kind of given. I was never given the credit for it. I suppose you could say. You know, I was. I was never. Uh, all I was ever told was, "Oh, that's all right." A particular example. It was. I was doing what they called design and technology. Uh, that was the the name they gave to the lesson. It was basically like crafting. It was woodcraft and working with plastics and so on and so forth. And we'd been tasked with, um, you know, creating a uh, sort of, you know, it could be like a box or a little display unit. It had to be made out of wood. And you had to utilise you know, um, the sort of the different techniques that we, that we'd been learning about in, in order to kind of, you know, um, attach things together, you know, with the glue and the nails and the way you cut the, I uh, so we, we didn't learn dovetailing, let's put it that way. We just learned the kind of the grooves that you would interlock. I'd actually decided that I was going to make something for my sister. Um, she liked to collect from, at the time, there was something that was very, very big over here. You used to get it from the, uh, Kinder Surprise eggs. And they were like the little frogs, little, little figurines of frogs. And they were really adorable and really cute. And she had loads of them. And I decided I was going to make, um, you know, some, you know, a little kind of display cabinet thing. You know, it didn't have a door on it or anything, you know. And you could just kind of hang it up on the wall and it would be big enough, you know, a couple of shelves, big enough to put these little guys on, you know, and keep them all nice and neat. I made it. Um, granted, it wasn't 100% perfect. Yeah. Had a little bit of a, a little bit of a wonkiness to it, you know. Um, and, you know, I mean, I'd even, I'd even gotten into an argument with my teacher because I said she asked what colour I was going to paint it or whatever, and I said I was going to varnish it. And I said, and Charles, what colour are you going to do it? So I said, 
pine colored and she was like there's no such thing as pine colored varnish she didn't like it when i turned up for the next lesson with a can of said varnish that was given to me by my brother-in-law <laughs> um but yeah i mean i you know i, I it, it took a number of a number of lessons to to cut the pieces measure them you know do the do the interlocking the glue and the nails and everything and doing the varnish as well and when i took it home and i presented it to her and i told her what it was for basically the response i got was oh that's all right and that was it um i mean quite literally i i showed her um i showed her a, a, a picture that i'd gotten off my phone, you know screenshot off my phone um, of my romance novella that's on Amazon and she didn't say a thing first off she said what's that and I said that's my book on Amazon and she was like oh and that was it you know and and it, it I just really feel like if I'd had if I if I'd had positive encouragement when I was a kid, maybe, maybe I wouldn't have such a hard time achieving stuff now. You know, maybe, maybe I wouldn't be quite so, I, I guess you could say lazy. Because I just, you know, my motivation is like non-existent most of the time. And I really think that maybe that's because I didn't get the encouragement when I was a kid. Basically, in essence, it's pretty much that... I was never told I was worth anything. Um, and I suppose, you know, I really do feel that that's kind of stuck with me throughout all my years, you know. It's like, you know, you, you, know, you, you don't do anything worthwhile, therefore you're not worth anything. That's basically how I feel. I mean, you know, there's, there's no ifs, ands or buts with it, you know. That is how I feel. Um, and, you know, I really do think that that impacts very highly on anything that I try to do. Obviously today is, it's been a lot about thinking and just really trying to figure out what it is that's wrong with me, basically. Um, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I have, you know, I have a few friends now that, you know, they, they do their best to encourage me, they... You know, they 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 try to to give me kind of the the boost to to be able to sort of you know do more or um, be a bit more productive. Or, I don't know, just just to kind of keep at doing some of the stuff that that usually I enjoy doing. You know, I mean. Yeah, it's just it. It's it's kind of hard, you know. You you spend so many years of you know kind of not having not having uh, the 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 right kind of encouragement, and uh, it's not until later in life <laughs> that you actually find some people who are willing to give you that encouragement. You know, who actually think 
they actually think that you know you can actually do something. I mean, it's it's definitely it's definitely a new thing for me. Um, because obviously, you know, most of the people that were previously around me, um, obviously just, they either couldn't be bothered to make any kind of a comment or they just didn't have a very high opinion of it or of anything that I did. So, yeah, it's not a particularly, not a particularly long or, I don't know, I guess you wouldn't really say it's much of a, a light-hearted vlog, really. Um, it's it's just one of those days when I've got a lot of stuff that, that, that kind of runs through my head and I'm always trying to make sense of it. And sometimes, sometimes you know, I, there are times when perhaps you have sort of like some quiet time to yourself and your mind goes, you know, over and over and over, all kinds of things. Sometimes you come up with the answers, sometimes you manage to make yourself, you know, feel a little bit more at ease with, you know, some of the realisations. And sometimes you don't. Um, so, yeah. Um, not a particularly long one today. So, uh, again, you know, if uh, if you got any comments, uh, any questions, any requests, you know, anything like that, you know, just let me know in the comments.